Hello everyone, my kaiju here, back with another consistent upload of once every month. Today I want to talk about stylized cloth wrinkles for Roblox. Here are some of the examples of what I'll be making in this video. You might notice that these cloth details are very similar to that of Tower Defense Simulator. Their models are actually what inspired me to learn how to replicate the style. Now as far as I know though, the style of models tend to trade topology for design. But as someone who's made models so bad, they lag the studio just by moving it around? This is a perfect technique to add to my stuff that destroys the Roblox engine list. Maybe yours too, so here's how you do it. Alright, here we are in Blender with the fresh Roblox character. If uh, you notice the shading might look a little weird right now. That's because I removed their uh, custom split normal from... Uh, from Roblox, mainly because I'm going to duplicate their limbs to demonstrate the this wrinkles, this cloth wrinkles modeling. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate the arm, add a mirror modifier, go to edit mode, uh, select the entire thing with A, and click Alt S, just inflate it a bit so it's bigger than the uh, bigger than the arm. And now, it's basically shoulder pads for him. I'm gonna just ch change his color real quick, actually. So, we can make like a tower, basically. This is like a tower defense unit. Uh, just give him dark gray clothes. Yeah, it looks pretty fire. I'll also duplicate the torso and inflate it a bit. Uh, I don't think I'll work much with it. I'll just have it. Actually, nah. I think... Keep this is fine. Yeah, it's not really an issue. I'll keep the sleeves about here. Usually when I'm modeling a tower defense character, I wouldn't duplicate the leggings because I like to make them look like tower battle units where the torso and legs are uh, usually the color of the clothing and the arm and head have a skin color to them. So I'll just keep uh, I'll just add the cloth, cloth fold details to these later. Let's say I decide to give him some shoes or something, but I digress. Alright, let's get to these fold. So usually, when I start work on this, what I would do is put three cut or a few cuts around the uh, object. And this, is <laughs> this is already not very good. Uh, as you can see, the triangle count tanked a bit there. But it's just the just trust the process for now, right? What I'll do is I'll click K to tr get on the knife tool, and I'll select one of these vertices, and I'll just cut what a crease that I want out of these, basically a crease at the bottom. And usually, what I would do is I'll cut a crease on top, but I think it would look a little more natural if I do this. I'll cut it in the middle as well. I want like a little groupy looking clothes, basically. So now I will select these, go to edge mode by clicking two. I'll select these two edges or lines in, in between the cuts we made. Then I'll click Alt S to inflate them out a bit. Then uh, now it looks like shit. <laughs> what, you, what you would do now is hold Alt, select the bottom line uh, that you cut, click uh, you just right click actually but usually you'd want to click ctrl e that will immediately bring up the edge option if you're in like uh if you're in like vertex select uh, but since you're since we were already in edge you can just right click and click mark sharp and now as you can see nothing happened nothing nothing changed what we need to do is go into the data of the model and turn on auto smooth but we keep it at if we keep the other smooth degree at 30 right now, we see that everything is relatively sharp and it looks like a really low poly model. Uh, it's not really what we want. We want a bit more smoothness to it, right? So I'll just increase this a bit until everything is smooth. And that already looks pretty similar. Now, I personally, what I like to do is just turn this, crank this up to the max. So everything that isn't marked sharp will be uh, will be smooth. This just makes the process a little easier. You don't have to do it, 
And in certain cases, it is a little easier to just let the algorithm do the sharpness for you. But in this case, I want to have a lot of control over it. So I just keep it at the absolute highest limit for now. So let's just edit this a bit, make it look a little nicer. And <laughs> Roblox characters are really strange. You know, like trying to make them, trying to make their cloth full wrinkles look uh, natural is really difficult because it's just a single rectangle. So I just think of this as a droopy clothing. Uh, I would recommend you look at references when you do this. I like to just go with whatever I think uh, looks good. But that isn't always the best thing to do. You should definitely look at references to get an understanding of what kind of clothes folds you want. But uh, I'll just go with the flow of this one. And let's see what we can make. Now you don't actually have to follow these uh, vertices. I just have it there so it reduces the chaos of the uh, topology. If you don't have any of these cuts, later like... You just have end guns everywhere and you have to fix a lot of them. Like just J joining a bunch of lines together and that's really annoying and I don't really feel like doing that right now. Instead, I'll just simplify these a bit by <laughs> adding a bunch of lines and increasing the triangle to a ridiculous amount. But it's all worth it for the design, right guys? I don't think it is. Hmm. Looks like the Nike symbol. <laughs> well, uh, that's probably... Well, if it's droopy, it's probably very large, right? So we'd probably want to scale these outwards a bit. Let's turn on proportional editing. Uh, just make this a little big. Droop it down a little. Look like a angry wizard. Uh, we can move these here a bit. We don't really want it to go inside of a the torso because it doesn't really look natural in that case maybe i'll just pull this down a little to make it look a little nicer as well eh, i think it could be better but you know, that's fine maybe if we want to give him a bit of a sleeve as well what we can do is put a cut here scale this up and pull it up like that I think this is what TDS, a tower defense simulator, tends to do with their mop. Do that. Uh, oh no, this is a little bad. Yeah, 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 fuck that. Just do that for now. Won't look good, but it works. I sharpen that. And maybe give it just a bit of details right there. Probably doesn't. Actually, nah, maybe on this side it makes a bit more sense. Because it's Roblox character. Roblox character biology looks weird as hell. Then I'll just scale this up a bit. It'll go into the torso. I think it's fine. I think it'll look a little bit more natural in this case. In this case. And I think that looks alright. Let's add more clothes again. I usually like to add them in between four vertices like this. I think that's the magic number. It gets a relatively good uh, style, and you won't have to work that hard to get something working for a Roblox character. So I just keep adding these. Sometimes I like them to connect well, so here's what I would do. Let's cut. Uh, what I would do is just select these two, follow this edge down here, just cut it through this part. I think uh, like that looks pretty good. See, as you can see, it creates an end gone. And this is what I mean when I say this strategy of design and modeling tend to create a very, very bad topology. So it's really up to you if you want to handle deal with it or find another way. This is just how I know. And I could absolutely be wrong right now with how TDS do their thing. This is just how I learned to replicate an effect similar to them if you know a better strategy uh do put it in the comment i would love to hear about it and uh yeah about all i gotta say let's look at that that does not look natural at all what i like to do as well is i guess we can sharpen that as well 
some of them we can also sharpen the top looks a bit all right this is just with the uh this is like the cloth folding outwards this is the wrinkles going outward but sometimes the wrinkles also crease inward right so what we can do with that is uh let's say what would be a good spot to do this a little like here we got a tight ash it gets really tight on here tight ass sleeve what i would do is first go out and hide the torso so i can see the inside part a little easier do cuts like i'd use like we'd usually do and now instead of inflating outwards we'll, in we'll instead firstly we'll sharp the inner the inside line right then we'll inflate it inward and let's just do a bit more of these real quickly this is like the armpit area so it would make sense for this area to be a bit tight tighter with the crease so we go inward instead of outward and we'll look at that scale that scale that down a bit maybe pull this up show the kind of a flow of this other part here maybe we can even put one here it probably won't look very good but just for the sake of this tutorial i'll do it Do that. Actually, no. Uh, go in. Also, the reason I always unselect the outer edge is because if you do, it will also move them inward, and you don't really want that. Especially because this messes around with Engon so much, you don't really want to mess the topology even more than it's already being messed up. And as you can see. <laughs> Oh goodness, oh goodness gracious, this doesn't look very good. So how do we fix it? If I'm being honest with you, I'm not really a topology person. Like, I'm really not good with topology. I just kind of do whatever the hell I think works. So here we have one triangles, but everything else are quads. Is that worth it? Yeah, probably. That, that'll work. Is it the best thing though? Probably not. If, and that is that's what i mean when i say this strategy tend to have some limitations with um uh, topology it's a cool looking design but you have to usually sacrifice topology i could be wrong though and if you know someone who models for like that models for tds and they know how to actually model this properly uh, it would be awesome if they could share their strategy because this is just how i know how to do it and it's not very efficient but it does get the job done so uh we have pretty good wrinkles let me just add like one or two in front here as well uh probably want this to droop down a bit as well so do another cut here Probably not natural as well, as I said. Though with Roblox, uh, topo while topology matters, I honestly, when I first started modeling, I rarely cared about topology. Uh, mainly because Roblox didn't really took that much of a heavy hit from topology. Unless you made something that's absolutely horrendous, then the model would just absolutely break but if the topology is bad but roblox can comprehend it it's usually uh, not that bad in the final model but i know better now hey was there any issue with this it's always art direction right god imagine there's like an art direction where uh you know the whole like point to have as worst of a topology as possible just to get a unique effect oh well, that being said i think that looks pretty good i'm just puffing out this part a little to make it look a little more natural uh, as you can see it starts to the more loop cuts you put in the more it starts to collide with the 
the more loot cups you start to put in, the more it starts to collide with the knife cuts. But, I think that will wrap it up for the arms. But I don't want to end the video just yet, because previously in the video I showed an image of cloth wrinkles that were relatively straight, almost like a dress in a way. And I want to show you guys how to do that one as well. It's relatively similar to this, you just follow the lines a bit more. So let's do that for the pants. So, um, hmm. I said that I was gonna... So I was gonna use the leg, just as that, but... You know what, I'm gonna duplicate it, simply because it's gonna look really weird for a dress to just be, like, tightly wrapped around the legs. So... Yeah, sorry about that. What I do first is probably just, again, put a few of these cuts. But prob- oh wait, hold on. I like to work one leg at a time. <laughs> Mainly because Roblox legs just collide with each other so much. What I like to do first is put a few of these loop cuts, but no, but no horizontal loop cuts here, it's just vertical. Mainly because this is a dress, and what I want to do is select these, uh, and edges at a checker pattern. You, you could use checker deselect, but I wanted to wanted it to be in a specific pattern, so I selected it manually instead. So what you would do if you select that is I would just scale it up a bit and maybe pull it down. Usually I like it to just be on one level, but you can also pull it down if you want. I think Actually, what I'll do is I'll hide and pull this up a bit. Or just pull this down a bit. This is super low poly, actually. I would probably, uh, like, subdivide this or add a bit more cuts to this on a personal model. However, I think this works just fine, so it's alright. Now I'll add some of these uh, horizontal cuts. And I'll just try to make it look like a dress a little. Doesn't really have to look that good right now. Just have to look somewhat believable. <laughs> and I think that's all right. What I would do now is go through all of these, go through all of the creases, basically all of the lines that we made from the uh, the cloth floats, and it's the one that. They're, they're the edges that are concaved in. So I'll do is just select all of them real quickly. And mark all of them sharp. And again, turn on auto smooth because I forgot to do that. You know what? Just for the sake of this video, I'll just bevel those. <laughs> I don't think that looks good at all, but it's just going to slightly smooth out the edge. And we can just. Uh, double G to slide it upward and merge it by distance. It was a, it was annoying me. I was like, I just didn't really like it. So I was like, eh, need to change this. This is the other side of the leg, by the way. So it kind of has to be flat because I don't want to clip too much. But I think this already looks all right. And if we unhide this on the other side. It's really minute right now, actually. Usually, if you want more, if you want more folds like uh, the image I showed earlier, you'd want a lot more loop cuts. But you can also add more details of them now to kind of fake a bit more of those. What I would do is just follow these lines, right? And just maybe add a few more in there, you know? Uh, they're probably not go outward in this case. The uh instead of inflating them out, you probably inflate them in. And if we look at this just keep adding them lightly here and there. Maybe some of these to break the mold as well. Some some of them at an angle as well. Like that sharp, pull it in, pull the outside edges out a bit so it looks a little puffier. Um, we can go to here with this one. 
Oh yeah, with the knife too, if you don't want it to snap to a vertices, if you're too close, just hold control. That does come with the <laughs> issue that it also doesn't snap to the lines. But, so, um, so yeah, just keep a note on that. I just like to go, get, get a little closer and then just go around it. The threshold for it to snap is a lot, uh, lot smaller when you're closer to it. That being said, let's keep going. I <laughs> uh, probably not want it there in like an actual model, but that's all right. Because it takes out the other spot. But we can just l look that kind of curves. Oh no, actually, never mind. That looks trash. Ooh. Uh, yeah, about that. Don't make one mistake, kid. I'm just not gonna change it at the moment because I'm too lazy. I think that looks all right for now. So let's duplicate the dress. I change the leg color, or maybe the dress color, so we can see this a little better. Yeah, let's make it gray or something. Make this gray as well. That would be it. Uh, as you can see, some of these are a little sharp. You can go back and tweak them if you want. I personally don't mind it too much. Uh, I think this is all. This already looks all right, and it's not a perfect replica of TDS and. As I said, but I I think it looks pretty similar. Uh, you guys can put your thoughts on it in the comments. But before I go, I do want to export this to Roblox just to, just to show you guys how it looks. So, um, we're we'll back in Roblox in a second. All right, so here we are in Roblox with the not so fresh studio. Um, that doesn't really matter. Let's import this. Model in and see how it looks. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, big guy. I actually don't know which is the front. I don't think it even matters, but I just scale them down. Err, I scaled them to be like a Roblox character, so I'll make them the same size as it. <laughs> Roughly the same size. I don't think it really matters, but you know. Just good. Oh, so um, I didn't separate it, but that's because I'm not going to use this for anything. But uh, I actually forgot to extrude this the sleeve under here in uh the the dress. I forgot to extrude it in. So right now it's just like invisible if you look under it. If it's just one plane like this, you can fix this by just turning on double sided, which is what I would do with something like this i don't know if that's less laggy or not i don't know if it's if a plane with double-sided is less laggy than if we we extrude this in and make it a 3d asset however i think it's thin enough that it it's really thin the the thickness of it or lack of so or lack of it there is kind of adds to the charm of the style so that's really up to you but uh that's on me i kind of forgot to do that <laughs> That being said, let's color this real quick. Also here, yeah, the normals are broken. I can go into that, but I'm not a normals person, honestly, so I can't say much. Just search up something about weighted normals. <laughs> yeah. uh, this dude with the, the drip is, is done. So... This is the closest I can get to their style. As you can see, there's still some normals uh, issues here. Uh, seems like the lighting got a little messed up with the sharpness. It's not really perfect. And I quite frankly don't know how to make it perfect. This is just the most I know to, to uh, replicate the style. Uh, being said, this model is done. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in a comment. 
Um, and if you think I missed anything, also put in a comment. I'd love to hear about that. Oh, wait, what the hell? Um, wait. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> I think this is called bad topology. Wait, what? Um, this is weird. So usually, like, what? So we'll, we were talking about n-gons and how robots didn't get affected by much, right? The ironic thing is, this isn't an n-gon. It's it was a quad, but I guess the triangles were too small for robots to calculate, so it's just invisible. Or it's too tight. I think that's interesting, though. I happened to some of my old models, but uh, haven't seen it in a while. So that was a little interesting. Alrighty then. Have a great day, everyone.